Hey guys, it's Chris from Domestic Chris here with another episode of Mickey Money Monday on Wednesday. I'm so sorry. Um, things have been really crazy and some of you may know I have an autoimmune issue and I just really wore myself out this weekend and I was hoping to have this video up yesterday um, but I took my daughter uh, as a chaperone on a field trip the zoo and um, that really took a lot out of me so I wasn't able to get this up and I'm I'm really sorry I'm gonna try not to let that be habit I know this is at least twice now that I've had it up the next day or now later so I'm sorry but I have some big news for you guys and I'm really excited um I'm so excited so the first things I want to tell you about and I'm gonna just little backwards is uh, how much money I've saved this past week okay so I had $30 in Target gift cards 20 of those came from house party to purchase the M&Ms um, I ended up paying with my red card so I just saved the debit card I mean the card for something else for Disney and then I bought um, four packages of vitamins um, for, and got $10 worth of um, Target gift cards so there's $30 in Target gift cards I've been cleaning my house, that's part of why I'm tired. Uh, this end objective to clean my office has spilled over into like five other rooms of my house all getting cleaned up, which is good. I feel like I'm moving back into my house, but um, I found a huge box of old textbooks. I mean, 10 plus years old, but I scanned each and every one of them into Amazon app and I was able to turn three of them into Amazon and got $17.63 in Amazon credit. And I'm gonna um, pay myself out of my school tuition um book fund to make up for that i have a dollar 87 that i'm saving myself from getting a free speedway drink i also during the cleaning process going through a box of my husband and i's old army stuff found an avies gift card for 28 dollars and 22 cents I can't even shop there anymore, but my brother can. So I'm going to take that money out of my gift fund and send that to him so that he can buy something on his deployment. Um, I had a coupon for Chipotle, buy one, get one free, save myself $7.50. And I also got consolation prize and a sweepstakes, a $10 Casey's General Store gas station gift card. I'm gonna use that today and give myself $10 in gas. So this week I saved $95.22. And that officially means, guys, I have currently, right now, exceeded cash in my hand money I have all the money I need for my Disney trip. Now, the end of May 2016, I have fully funded my Disney trip. Yay! Like, I have all the money. So, let's go through that. My updated budget, which includes the um, increase in the ticket prices and also my um, budget uh, expenses for the race fees, <laughs> um, the new budget is $6,960.89. I currently have in assets available to me between Disney gift cards, Target gift cards intended to purchase Disney gift cards with, McCormick and Schmidt gift cards, cash, money already spent, all those things. I have in my hot little hand $7,088.55. Yes! I should have done the math, but that's... <laughs> Not quite a hundred dollars over um, budget. I'll figure that out. I should have done that. I have all these other numbers written down. Anyways, so I started this in January with two thousand one hundred ninety dollars and twenty cents in assets between cash, gift cards, money already spent. I um, used sixteen hundred dollars of my tax return towards this. It was intended to be a thousand dollars towards the room and six hundred dollars towards the race fee, and then. Um, I have saved out of my budgeted savings that we talked about in episode one, the escrow savings and gymnastics savings, $1,169. Um, and part of that switched up because I think I did my math wrong and instead of saving, because uh, I'm not sure how January is going to work out, so I split up the $45 for January and started paying myself that a little bit at a time. So it went from $45 to $67 a month um, just because of how the deposit's going to work out, but same amount of money. Anyhow, uh, so $1,169. And then I have found 
okay? The found money we talk about is either like the savings from the difference of things or um, imperk rewards or unexpected gift money or whatever, right? I have a whole other video about found money, but I have found, I have accumulated, well, let me say, I needed <laughs> to accumulate something like $1,287, less than $1,300. That's what I said. I've rewatched my first episode video. I needed less than $1,300 to be found and I found $2,129.35. Yay! And I have spent out of my money, right? So the money that I collect and I've purchased gift cards with or that I've saved, pretty much all the what I've spent to acquire this much money, okay? It's $5,064.95. That's how much money has come out of my personal hot little hands to pay for this much, which is a 28.5% savings, almost 30% savings on this trip to Disney. I know earlier on I had a higher percentage of savings and then when I cashed out those Disney gift cards because I went crazy, I lost a potential amount of savings with that. But that's okay. I learned my lesson. I still have a really good savings. So isn't that so excited? And, you know, I talk about, oh, I'm this much money over budget, right? That's still a thing because I still have planned to save, you know, the rest of the gymnastics money. Um, oh, yeah, part of that that I've already saved is um, the Children's Museum membership renewal time came and went and I paid myself that. So I still have $1,286 that I plan. I have automatic deposits coming in for that. So boom, money for another trip, money for upgraded pass. I don't know. And then I'm obviously going to continue to save money and that's going to help me on subsequent race trips. So, but my January 2017 marathon weekend race trip is 100% fully funded. And in just this time, outside of the money that I plan to save, I was able to find and save $2,129.35. That could be a really nice hunk of change for somebody who's not planning such a big trip, who maybe lives closer or whatever. I mean, that's a lot of money that you guys, you know, that could save to go towards another trip. So it's not just... <clears throat> that I already had money saved, you know, that helped. And all this money saved has been following these same principles, right? So you can save this for anything, but I, I myself, outside of my budgeted savings, I'm sorry, I'm just blowing my mind. I'm so excited. I just did the math. I have found and saved $2,129.35 since January. It's the end of May. That is crazy. That is like $500 a month more. No. Four, yeah. No. 400. Five times four. 400. I'm not awake. <laughs> it's a good amount of money. It's a good amount of money that I've saved. And I'm just rambling and now I'm starting to sound silly. So that's the update that I have for you guys this week. And I also want to say a big thank you. I reached over 400 subscribers. Yay. That is so exciting to me. And I hope we get up and get up to over 500 between now and next week and I'm playing another giveaway so thanks so much for joining me on this Mickey Money Monday you guys can save money you can save money for Disney you can save money for a car you can save money for whatever you want you can save money and I hope you will it's been so nice talking to you guys and I'll see you real soon